friends, I am Nikki and welcome back to my channel. Of course though if you're new, well, welcome. Please don't let this be the last time. I would love for you to stick around and join the party as I always say by clicking the subscribe button. Click the little bell too so then you will get notified and not miss any of my uploads. If you are a wig lover, trust me, I have a lot of wig content on here. And if you have already subscribed, thank you so very much. I greatly do appreciate it, and I truly do mean that. Today, though, I have another wig review because I have a lot of wigs to review right now, but not to worry. I do have some other content lined up. It's just going to be a little while, but hey, what's wrong with wig reviews, right? They're fun. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to be telling you all about this girl and in return, please give me your respectful feedback in the comments since I always love to hear from you and also let me know if there is a wig you would like me to review. I happily do take requests. So today though, I have a wig from Motown Tress and she is in the style of Vienna. She is an HD lace front from the HD Invisible Lace Collection and the color I have her in is RT24-8. She is available in a total of 12 colors. I love to see a big color selection like that, especially this one because there's a couple silvers and blue and wine. So you got some vivids mixed in there, which is really cool to see. Um, she has a pre-plucked part, a five inch deep lace part, and she is heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I picked her up from wig types for $32.94, so let me show you her right here. And first, I always show you the lace and cap construction so you can see the shading and transparency of the lace. That's transparent, all right, look at that. I like to see that. <laughs> all right, on the inside, uh, she has this type of lining, very comfortable, covers wefts. 5-inch parting space right there. On each side, she has a comb, so one here and one here. Plus, of course, she does come with one comb in the back. In the back are her adjustable straps. And uh, let me see how this girl stretches. Oh, she stretches really nice, better than some of the other ones. So I like to see that because then it's promising that she will be larger head friendly. So, um, I don't do the wig installation on camera. I try to save a little bit of time with that and just show you the end result. So let me go put her on and then I'll be right back with my final thoughts. All right, everybody. She's on my head, so we are ready to talk about her. Although I first always start off my videos by showing you what I'm wearing for my eyeshadow look because it's fun, why not? So uh, today I am wearing the Banana Fetish Palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, which is this right here. Okay, See, only takes a second to do that. All right, so uh, this particular wig, uh, I did actually pick her up when she first dropped, which I want to say is roughly about a month ago, but I picked up quite a few wigs at that time, and as most of you are aware, I had a tragic death in the family, so I got a little bit behind, and then I was buying more new ones, so you know how it goes. Back up. <laughs> so um, I'm getting everything as quickly as I can. But here she is now, and yeah, can I say I'm happy with this style. I love it. Just the way she drapes and is just kind of flowy, very lightweight, which is great for this time of year, especially due to her length, which by the way is 28 inches. It's what it says on the stock card. So let me just show you how long that is on me. And in case you don't know, I'm 5'5". Five five. And uh, she does have some layers. They're a little bit on the longer side, which I think is also really, really good for the style because then, again, makes her more lightweight and more breathable. And so you're not so heavy and everything like that in the hot summer months. So I think she's going to be pretty comfortable to wear when it's really hot out or humid out. Uh, I personally think this is a good style to wear for any situation, even though I know people uh, that are looking for a good work wig usually want it shorter, more classy. I'm just saying, I think she's good for any situation just because of the way she is looking. She'll go great with anything. And not only that, but she's really super easy to manage. I mean, 
Gotta do the bounce test here, check it out. <laughs> Again, like I said, very lightweight and she just kind of stays in place and you don't really have to do much tidying up with her. I am only using my fingers to run through the hair and you can see, just check that out, just from top to bottom, I can pretty much go all the way through without really coming across any tangles. They're very, very minimal. So you don't have to worry about much with her. Uh, her density, I think, is great. Perfect for her, uh, for this style, I mean. And then, of course, she doesn't have a ton of volume, just more of a natural, free-flowing type of look. Very soft, subtle waves. And perfect for everything, I think. Uh, this color, I really do love the contrast of it. It does remind me of the color I reviewed for... Uh, what was it? Vila Vila Super Dion, which was a really, really long time ago. So it's kind of refreshing to revisit a color like this. I think it's really beautiful. Now, of course, this is more golden or yellow, however you want to look at it. Uh, I know some people don't really like that, but I think just with the chocolatey eight down here, I think it's perfect combination. And it's a really nice blend, as you can see right here. And then also starting up here at the roots. I think it looks professional. It's gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. Now, don't get me wrong. I think that this color here is gorgeous, too. In fact, I was kind of going back and forth, deciding which one to get. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, those who are going to re be reviewing her are likely going to be doing that color. And... I was right. So I wanted to do something a little bit different and I don't regret it. I think it's a gorgeous color. Her luster is really, really beautiful too. I don't see any like overly shininess to her or dullness. So I think it's just perfect. Her texture, I would say is a lighter yakky, not really much silkiness in there, just a lighter, soft yakky. And when I mean soft, I mean soft. Hair feels amazing and uh, I also think that she's feeling very realistic and in my opinion I also think she is multicultural. Uh, so let me show you her from the side and the back while we're at it. As I expected, I think she looks stunning draped on the back. Again, just the way she flows. Uh, now, this is pretty much the shortest layer, so it might flop forward, but at least you don't have to deal with a whole bunch of different layers kind of coming down if you do decide to wear her in the back, and this is kind of minimal too. So I think she would be easier to wear in the back without having issues, um, but I'm gonna pull her forward. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> All right, so I already mentioned the issue, or I should say lack of tangling issue, but unfortunately she sheds like crazy. It's kind of a disadvantage, of course, but let me just kind of show you here. I run my fingers through her and this is what I get every time. It's very consistent, hopefully you can see that since it's very light colored, but and it's only the lighter color, not the brown. It's just that blonde that is shedding a lot. So unfortunately, that is a con to the pro of the lack of uh, tangles. So um, I do want to remind you that I do wear the wig for a little while, usually about an hour at minimum before I film this part of my review. So I'm not just going off first impressions. And, you know, as time goes on, as you're wearing it, things can change. But again, that's been consistent. I'm still trying to stay optimistic though that it will settle down as the day continues, but at this point in time, I'm not really seeing that happen. Who knows, but I'm just letting you know. Um, now, she does have a pre-plucked parting space, as I mentioned, and it is five inches deep. She's a center part, as you can see. I don't mind this parting space at all. Um, it looks a little crooked though to me. Maybe that's just my OCD kicking in. I don't know, but it seems like right here it kind of 
zigzags a little bit or something. I don't know, but it's not a major thing. <laughs> Again, just my OCD, but um, I don't mind the parting space as far as the depth and width is concerned. She was easy to blend. I'm loving how flat she's laying because then that makes it easier to blend and looks more natural that way too. Um, she doesn't really have too much for baby hair, just kind of like, how do I wanna describe it? Like these little tiny little pieces of wispies. And I really like those. I think that that's perfect for the style. Um, just looks more natural that way. At least I think it does. So I don't mind those baby hairs whatsoever. Uh, she's not pre-plucked around the edges, but I of course always show you just how she is fitting here. So you can get an idea for fit and blend. So some of my own baby hairs are mixed in there as well, but perfect around there for the fit same thing on this side as you can see a slight bit of lift up but nothing to be concerned about this is a style that covers all that anyway and you're not really going to have to really notice any lift up much when you're kind of just doing this with her i don't know how else to describe it but other than showing you <laughs> so anyway uh she's fitting really nicely she is comfortable to wear um I would also say I believe she is larger head friendly. I love her stretchability and I did have to take those adjustable straps in pretty darn tight with her. So I think she should work out for everybody really good. So um, aside from the shedding, I think she has a lot of good qualities, great potential. She's beautiful. This is the perfect style for me. I love these wavy units. So what else can I say other than I still recommend her. If you don't mind the shedding, she's still a good wig. So yes, I do love her and say go get her. That is my review and recommendation for Miss Vienna today. But please go down in the comments and give me your thoughts. If you already picked her up, I'd love to know all about it, including what color you have her in. And if you decide to go pick her up after watching this review, I would love to know if you do. And that is it. Thank you, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you next time in my next video. So until then, bye-bye.